Can't take it no more. In a package from Amazon. I ordered this bamboo rack, so I have to build it, but it's for Kyra's and my shoes. So I'm gonna build it real quick and then show you guys what it looks like. So I just finished the rack. Kyra and I are about to go on a walk, but I want to show you real quick. It has two shelves, and then the top is a just smooth surface, and it's smooth and not splintery, which is nice. But I'm gonna just put both of our shoes on there and put this in the front closet. Um, but I needed something for my shoes because I don't really have any storage for that. So Kyra and I are about to go on a walk. Um, I just changed into a tank top and just some black leggings. There's Lulu. Lemon leggings. And then we're gonna go on a walk. You can hear her talking. <laughs> um, and then it'll probably I'll probably play like toys with her for like an hour and then put her to bed so I can have just some me time to relax. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> I just put Kyra to bed. I got a book in the mail. Um, there's this girl on Instagram that I follow that she suggested this book because she has like taken basically things in this book and just applied it to her life, applied it, applied it. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But she just applied it to her life. It's Medical Medium Cleanse to Heal. And it's a hard book I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, but it's basically just kind of how to heal yourself with foods, whether it's anxiety or different things like that. And Anthony William is the person who wrote it. And then he actually has an Instagram. I think it's called The Medical Medium. So you can follow his stuff. But yeah, I wanted to get a book just on things I can do better for my nutrition and what I'm putting into my body. But yeah, I was excited to get this one. Um, for kind of just like anxiety and depression because it, it's like different foods that can affect that as well. Um, what else in here? I just want to be healthier, you know, like make my body the healthiest it can be because I feel like once I had Kyra, actually my whole pregnancy, I was just honestly pretty depressed pretty much my whole pregnancy. It wasn't like a planned pregnancy. She ended up being like the biggest gift in my life, but it wasn't a planned pregnancy. I didn't have the support of her biological dad and it just was not a good experience for me. I feel like for a lot of, a lot of people it is and a lot of people it isn't. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like I was more depressed during that time and then even now it's just it's hard sometimes taking time for myself or to better myself um yeah I don't know I feel like once you become a mom especially like being a single mom where I can't just be like like I have support of my family which is really nice but I can't just be like hey to her biological dad can you watch her so I can go to the gym? Can you watch her so I can just, you know, go take a breather for a second? Like, I work full time and then I immediately snap back into mom mode and I then get her ready for bed. I take her on a walk. I play with her toys with her. I feed her and then I want to do those things. Don't get me wrong, I want to do those things. But I also, don't really have time for myself like I used to and I don't know I think I didn't realize how much time or free time I had before I had her versus now having her if you guys have followed me for a while you know that I've worked three jobs at a time for a few years two jobs at a time for a few years and that's what I did with my extra time. It was so I could have extra money so I could then 
And even after I worked two jobs, I would go work out for two hours because working out at a gym was just what made me feel better, made me feel mentally better. Because before her, I still struggled with how I, uh, like my mindset sometimes, you know. I think being positive definitely helps because life is so hard. <laughs> so I do try to keep a positive mindset about life and because it is a gift it really is a gift but sometimes it's just i'm burnt out you feel me i'm tired i'm exhausted and i think i need to start doing things to take care of myself better now because if i'm not taking care of myself how am i supposed to take care of my baby and yes the majority of the time i eat healthy uh yes i do want walks every day I don't work out tents every day though, and I used to just be really, really fit. <laughs> so now, like, I still look good. It's not like I don't like my body, but it could be better. I could be better. I could be better with my mindset. I could be better with just how I view things sometimes, you know? So, yeah, this is something that I'm doing to take time for myself to try to pour into myself more, you know, just to take care of myself, have a better mindset, like I said, um, yeah, I don't know, being a mom is hard, being a single mom is really hard, <laughs> and being a regular mom is really hard too, so I'm not discrediting that, but yeah, being a single mom, working full time, trying to be in the best um, mental mindset around my daughter that I can, even when sometimes she goes to bed and I just like want to break down crying, you know? <laughs> so, I don't know. It would be easier, easier if things would have went how I always thought it would be when I had a kid, you know, having a partner, having their support, them being just as excited. I was definitely scared when I got pregnant because I knew I wasn't ready for a baby yet, but you get there, you make yourself ready, you know. So, yeah. But, yeah. If you are a single parent, or you're a single mom or dad parent, or honestly just a parent, just know that you're not alone. You need to take time to do stuff for yourself because you don't want to lose yourself. And if you're unhappy, your kid's going to see that. So... Try to be as happy as you can for them. And yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm excited to read this. I'm going to read a little bit of it tonight. And then I need to take a shower. Because I'm a little sweaty from my little walk and lunges and all of that. Um, but yeah. I'm going to drink a bunch of water real quick. Take a shower. And then tomorrow is Wednesday. So... I work till 6 p.m. tomorrow, so it'll be quite a long, quite a long day. But yeah, so I will probably vlog again starting tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you guys this little book, and if you want to get it, I will link it down below. It's not that I want you here. ABCs um, and like colors and numbers, little thing on YouTube. Yeah, you want some yogurt? She is eating some yogurt. Yeah. And then I actually just grilled some steak. So I'm going to have some steak and then I have some potatoes in the oven. And then um, I have chicken in the grill, on the grill right now. Yeah. You want another bite? She's being a little impatient. Can you be patient, please? Say thank you. That's high, but okay. Um, and then her toys will have to clean up. Right, Kyra? Because you made a mess. You made a mess. <laughs>
I got home from work around 6.40, so a little later today. Um, yeah, you want more? Sorry, I'm like feeding her her. Can I give you another bite? Yogurt right now. Um, but I'm about to eat. Here you go, with the, with the spoon. Um, I'm exhausted, I'm so tired, I have a headache, but it's all good. I did get a package in from Pretty Little Things, so it finally came in the mail. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I need to give her a bath and see what I end up doing this evening. I did not work out. I may work out, we'll see. We'll just see how you're doing, right, Bubby? Yeah? Show me your spoon. Say hi. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Kai, we're just having a bath. Are you having your bath, Bubby? Okay, you're gonna fall if you stand up. Can you sit down, please? And then we'll rinse your hair. Okay? So I just put Kyra in bed. Um, she had her little bottle and then I gave her a bath and she soaked me so my shirt is on the bathroom floor. But I ended up getting my package from Pretty Little Thing in today. I'm going to do a try on haul with it so I'll probably just show you a few of the items on here. Then I'm going to do a separate video for like a whole try on haul. But I got some different like work outfits so that doesn't look like what I ordered. So I got this like blazer set which I may wear tomorrow. Let's see. Well this seems like it's gonna be comfy too. Uh, I got an X ring like that. Oh size six. I don't know if this is gonna fit correct or not. Oh no, it feels like it will. So um, I don't think I had a button. I thought I had a button. This is way too long on me. Girl, that's the problem about being four foot nine. Is that everything is freaking long. So, I'm going to do like, you know, like a full try and haul. But, this is the jacket. I got matching pants with it. I may get it tailored though. So that it comes to like here. Because this is too long on me, girl. But, Way too long. It fits nice and like arm length is good. It's just this part length. Cause yeah, but <laughs> and then and then I got matching pants with it. So I guess I won't be wearing this one tomorrow. I don't know. I wanted to wear it. Um but yeah, and the pants are really cute. And they have like a little tie. So I can wear the pants, I guess, you know, like by themselves without, without the jacket or, yeah, the jacket just too long for me. Mm -hmm. And then I got this like pink shirt. I'm just gonna show you this and then I'll leave the rest for the try and haul. But, oh, I didn't notice it's sheer. It did not look sheer. I don't know why I'm wearing it underneath it then. Why did they give me size 8? Girl, I ordered size 6 for this one. And they gave me a size 8. No, I ordered, I did a 4 for this one. <sighs> anyway, it feels high quality though. That's what it looks like. Um, and they gave me size... Oh no, US 4. No, but I ordered UK 6. Six. So it should be a US 2. I don't know. But it feels very high quality, so that's nice. If I don't wear it for... Yeah, I won't be wearing this for work, I don't think, because I had to wear something underneath it because it's sheer. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the rest in my little try on haul. I'm going to take this off. But... Kyra is now in bed, and I need to clean up the kitchen just a little bit. I need a shower, just a little more self-care. 
kind of stuff. Um, I didn't pick up her toys even though I was supposed to. So we're gonna have to leave that for another day. I don't know why, but I feel so like exhausted. I worked till six and I started working at eight. So it was a longer day today, but yeah, I do not know. I am going to go shower though. And then, yeah, earlier today I went and got a smoothie bowl. It was like an acai bowl, but a protein one with vegan protein powder in it um, from Ola Juice Bar, which I showed like a clip of. I don't think I filmed anything saying like where I was going though. But yeah, that's what that little clip was. So, I think I'm just going to get ready for bed because I am exhausted. So, it's now Thursday. I am in the line. Well, let me move this up here. In the line for uh, Starbucks because I need to pick up some like breakfast food. So I'm gonna get some breakfast from them. I've had like a really bad headache because um, I don't know. I think I've just been stressed and everything like that. So I don't know. I just don't like taking medicine. The other day I did take some because my head hurt that bad. It was it was so bad, but. I'm just gonna pick up probably a croissant and a water. Um, I already have my lemon water, but just add some extra water. Um, but yeah. I just got a little croissant and then a water. All right, I just wanna show my work outfit for today because I'm not wearing my regular pants. I got these new ones from Pretty Little Thing. Um, they just have like a little tie at the top. But they're super, super comfortable. And then just wearing uh, black shirt with it and then the stripes are like green and white but I'm just working in a model home today so I'll be here um, tomorrow as well and then same with Saturday so I'll be working Saturday um but I don't know I'll be here till six so I usually work 10 to 6 if it's at the model home and then regular hours for the other part of the job is eight to five, so it kind of just depends. Makeup looks good today. I just said simple makeup, but I love these pants. Like they are so comfortable. I love